who Karen Civil is. We discussed her a bit on the pod. I didn't play any audio clips on the pod. We're, we're going to get to doing that a lot more. Um, again, work in progress. Give me, give me like, chat, give me a month and any podcast nigga who's been doing this shit for years, I'm going to lap them. Okay? I'm just competitive, okay? And I'm not here to like just be in the mix. These pussy niggas going to respect me. Facts. Okay. So Karen still have been in the media recently. Um, She was in some shit with some girl named Jessie Wu or something like that. I don't know what the fuck going on. But her and um, Jordan Lucas was going back and forth about it. I don't want to play this whole thing, but let me play this. And y'all tell me what y'all think about this. Or tell me if you even care. Because... You know, while I was doing a podcast today, it was hard to do have this conversation with my homies because they don't deal with as many industry people as I do. So they don't know really Karen Civil in, in terms of why she's important, why she's maybe affected a lot of people, why people might, you know, be scared to speak out about her or why, you know, what she does is really effective. Right. So they don't know even like the scope of her work, like the simple way always where I like to just explain her is like she's the Olivia Pope of hip hop. You know, what I mean, you a rapper and you clap somebody. And nobody knows. Or you're being investigated for some foul shit could be anything. If you have Karen Civil on your team. Say, for example, the media was going to know the next morning. Karen going to make sure maybe the media don't even know at all. So y'all going to court this and third, the media never finds out about it. She's a fixer. She could protect your public image. And she's going to do things to make sure you get in advantageous positions. In the music business, that doesn't always mean be on the up and up. You might low you have to threaten a nigga like, yo, yo if you post that this, this motherfucker did this, I'm going to fuck you, whatever it is, I'm going to fuck you up. Like, not, not saying she does that. I'm not saying she does that at all, but, and by the way, she never does that to me. But, um, you know, hearing everybody like talk about her, I've just always thought that, that was her anyway. You know what I mean? So, Jordan Lucas came out and said, yo, she took my 60000 when I didn't have no money. Somebody said she, she could also fuck people over. Yo, this is the music industry. A lot of people get fucked over. I've seen it. You know? I don't want my... Because I kind of stay out of this shit. And I've never done dealings with Karen like that. That I could even be in a position where I'm like, she took money from her, took anything from me. So maybe, like, just my positive experiences with her is going to just bias whatever I'm going to say. And I don't want to bias the conversation now. I'm going to play a little bit of this. This is the conversation between Jordan and Karen. Full transparency, when y'all are bored, just say it in the chat like, act, this is boring. Turn it off and talk, and, and, and I'll talk, right? But I want to give y'all some context because they had just a whole saga. Here's this. Had left was a little bit of bread that we had left in which we chose to hire you. And that was a big decision. On our behalf, because I, that was all that was really Wait, left I'm, in the budget. I'm, I'm sorry, who am I talking yeah, to? Right now? Jordan. Is Jordan? This is Jordan. Okay, this cool. is Jordan. Okay, cool. This is Jordan. Okay, cool. That's all. That's all that was really left in the budget at that time. That was 2015. You keep saying it was seven years ago, but that was a big time in my life. My son was about to be just born. My back was against the wall. I had an investor who kicked up hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, on behalf of me. And at this time, you know, hiring you was like our last ditch effort to really do something. And I really believed in the name Karen Civil. And, you know, just 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 reading the publications and talking to Sky Zoo, Sky Zoo co-signing like, yo, that's my girl. Yeah, yo, Karen's the real deal. Yeah, 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 that's my homie. And I kept telling Sky, like, yo, you sure? You sure this is your girl? Like, you sure you trust? He was like, yo, you're not even going to have a problem. Trust me. I said, all right, bet. So we reached out to you, and you had put together a little memo. We talked about it. You agreed to do it. That included 
blog placements for song releases, um, delivery of digital uh, short creation stories. You see, I like to be very transparent. And th this is why, you know, I saw this conversation go many places. Karen is a relationship person. What I know about Karen is this. Karen used to be a intern for Funkflex back in the day. I th I think her big break was right when Wayne was about to go to jail. She had she was a person managing most of his socials and also I think she like set up websites and stuff like that for um you know him during that really hot period of his life. Like she managed the digital stuff when digital stuff was really brand new and clearly Wayne was satisfied where she took that success and other artists was like, well, Hey, well, could you come over here and work certain shit for us? So that's how she developed a brand. Now, obviously there's a lot more to the story, which I just either don't know or don't have too much time to say. And, it's been like that. What happens now in the music industry, people just back up loads of cash to people who they think could do whatever that they saw them do for someone else. So Karen probably gets a lot of people who wants them to connect them to somebody. And that is kind of such the case with, with whatever. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't even give my opinion on this because I don't want nobody to think I'm defending nobody. Because I really just don't know. Like, this is all news to me. So I'll just keep playing. Facilitating interviews with media publications, building fan engagement, articulated social content capture, red carpet event opportunities, iTunes, um, beat music productions, radio interviews, acquiring booking agents, showing openings, all that shit, right? And at the time, that was... Oh. I guess I'm pausing again to, to explain why I went on that sidebar. I say that to say... Karen has developed a lot of relationships during a long time. I remember one time my inst remember my first Instagram that got deleted. I remember trying to get it back. Like Charlemagne, like had called me. He was like, "Yo, yo, I'm gonna connect you with Karen Civil. She gonna help you. Like she she has some people over there." And you know that was one of the first times I ever spoke to Karen. But like, what I realized is that Karen knows a lot of people. She she got connects. Like, put it like this. Like, now I could reach out to people in that work at Instagram, you know, for certain stuff, at least. But back then, like, Instagram was the Illuminati. Like, you don't even know what was going on there. So when someone w w could tell you, like, oh, hey, no, oh, you're oh, I could go talk to somebody at Instagram. It's like, whoa, right? So, like, she's always had these connects. And um, with being the relationship person, you get to realize you, like, for example, say Karen was trying to help me get my account back, right, for that, right? And maybe she, like, I don't think she did get my account back or anything, though, because that account was never came back. But still, like, I don't know. Say she she might have done a favor for me or whatever. Like, I might be like, yo, Karen, how does this happen? And she helped me with something, right? Who knows? She's, she's kind of, She's a uh, um, she's a veteran in the game, and she knows a lot of people. She can connect dots. Now I owe her a favor. Say Jordan Lucas comes to her and says, yo, I want to be on Academics page. Yo, I'll be DMing him. I'll be whatever. Like, he just don't respond. Yo, I got, like, this 10 grand. I want to get these posts up on this page. Like, yo, help me out. Ka say Karen knows me, right? Karen might just call me and be like, yo, act. Remember I did so-and-so and so-and-so for you and so-and-so? You know you owe me a favor. I'm going to call it in right now. Please, like, just check this out and look at blah, blah, or whatever, whatever. And say, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just put whatever up for you, right? That's her using her networking, her reach, her brand, to get something done. Now, the money that Jordan Lucas gave her, he's probably thinking, you're going to use that money to just pay the person that we, that, that 
we're going to need the service from. No. Your money wouldn't even be good. And also, if it wasn't Karen asking for a favor, we wouldn't even fuck with you. So, like, I look at it like that where I'm like, yo, I think sometimes people are trying to watch her pocket. You know, because they're looking at her like, yo, we gave you money, but you're on vacation. I don't know. And I, and I, and I don't want to be seeming like I'm defending her too much because there's a lot of allegations. A lot. So I'm just keep playing it. That was everything. It was like, word, finally somebody that's going to help us because I ain't know nobody that could help us. I'm from motherfucking Worcester, Massachusetts, and I'm, I'm out here in Boston. Ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. And I'm sorry to pause again, but your Jordan does seem hurt. And that's why I, I don't want to shit on anything he's saying. I think he feels hurt because he's like, yo, you took advantage of the fact that I wasn't in the industry and you ain't think I was going to pop off. Happens. Happens. You know, the first thing to fucking do to get on. So I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? Align myself with somebody that's already in the game doing it. This person going to take me under their wing. You name your price. Your price was 60K, whatever the fuck it was. It was like, bet, let's pay that. I told my investor, let's pay that. This motherfucker say, you sure? You sure you want to pay this woman? You, you, I said, Skazu say, you know her. Let's pay her. Mind you, like I said, my son about to be born. So I said, fuck it, let's go. We paid you. I remember going to the bank. We went with Skazu. We walked, I walked in to the bank with the nigga. I, I'm involved in the whole fucking process. I'm watching the whole shit go down. As soon as he sent that bread, I was happy as a motherfucker. I said, word, Karen Civil, nigga, I'm telling everybody back home and shit, nigga, I'm about to have Karen, because all I see is a perception, Nipsey, you know, everything else that you're doing. I'm like, word, finally, somebody about to come up, somebody about to come help me, save me, you know what I'm saying? And finally, I'm about to do something. I don't give a fuck what it is. If she gets me some shows, if she whatever, just take me under your wing, put me on some blogs, do something, because I ain't have shit popping. I had a music video I was working on called Ross Cappuccioni. As soon as that money was paid, you know, we had like a conversation on the phone. Everything was peachy on his phone call. You were like, yeah, we're going to do this, da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, word. I felt real good. And as soon as we hung up the phone, we ain't really hear shit from you. That was it. That was really it. And every single time I try to reach out to you, you talking to me like I'm disturbing your fucking day. I'm calling you because I'm trying to get some clarity. I wasn't blowing you the fuck up. I just wanted to know what the plan was. What's going on? What we doing? What's the, you know what I mean? You got to remember, I'm a nigga who just had my investor give it the last signal. Motherfucker told me like, yo, this is it after this nigga. If this shit don't work, I'm already 500,000, 600,000 deep in your career, nigga. This shit don't work. I don't know what to do. So now I'm sitting here nervous. My son about to be born any fucking day now. And I'm sitting there trying to hit you because I'm, I'm looking, you know what I'm saying, for you to be like, yo, we good. I'm about to get you this. I'm about to do that. Now, what I heard you say earlier was, I hate to pause this again. I'm sorry. But I, I, I want to tell a lot of aspiring artists, but also people who are very new when it comes to the music business. The music business is not really a place where people go to invest. Invest in Bitcoin. Invest in other things. Invest in the real estate market. Invest, invest in the stock market. Invest in things that you'll see actual returns and that could be more of a certainty than the music business. The music business, unless you're one of the major labels, which you have a fail-proof system, you control and own part of Spotify and Apple. You're, you've... you've You've leveraged your catalog so much, you kind of control the players at the seat of the table. If you're not that, please remember that I always look at people who like they say they street niggas and they putting in a lot of money into this shit. I always look at it as like, oh, that's just money laundering money. That's money you know that you don't give a fuck if you lose because just truthfully, and, and, and this, what, this what I was trying to say is like the labels, they have a, they have a foolproof, like fail proof system. All them street niggas and everybody doing it. Like, you, like 
Jordan seems offended. And I would be offended too. I've spent my own money on some shit. And when it felt trivialized and when it felt like people just took it and ran, I was upset. But what the music industry has created, because it's really the place for money laundering. I'm telling you this. When street niggas put money into the music, it's money laundering. It's not like they're like, oh my God, I'm putting my last 500000 Yo, I got to build some shit because I'm getting too much money somewhere else. Let me just put half a million dollars in this shit and hopefully it builds to something that I could explain why I got so much cash. The labels... They're investing all of that because they're playing a fixed game that they're always going to profit up on, especially now in the streaming era. I'm telling you, this is a fact. So Joyner, as an artist, and, and he's like me a little bit. I, I'll tell you the truth. Spotify asked me, they said, Act, do you want us to deal with like a manager? Like, we'll, we'll just tell your man, because I have all, I have complete control creatively. I have to approve or deny every and anything. Now, oh, well, we don't want to bother you. Your talent, you're busy. We could just ask your manager, or you could just give us, us the approval to do what we want to do. Or not like, do what, do what we would normally do. In your best interest. And I said, ah, how about you just ask me? So you know what that means? I'm on every meeting. I'm on every call. They'd be like, hey, you could bring your team in for this one. Nah, I'm here. Talk to me. You got to talk to academics. Well, y'all wonder I'm, why I'm tired? Because usually people, they have five, six other people doing the meetings. I'm going to tell you why I'm telling you this. Joyner seems like he's a little bit like me. You feel offended when you f you now your heart is in it. It's not just you're doing some shit randomly. You've invested your time, your heart, your effort. Now money, even though it wasn't his money, he felt like it was the last money that was going to be given towards him. So he gave that, and he's watching the money. I'm, I do that too. And then when shit, he when he th thought it was like getting funny, he got really upset. That's why he cares so much. You're gonna hear the care in his voice. He's upset. But the music industry is for people who could lose half a million dollars and not give a fuck. It's not for the people who, yo, I. Yo, I spent this money and what really happened with it? The music business. I, 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 I'm going to end that there because I don't want to like, I don't want to explain. I know niggas who spending money in the music business. And I'm like, yo, that's not even your budget. You don't have a budget to spend that. Nigga, you're taking that from some probably illegal activity you're doing. You're funneling it through the music business. You're hoping that something pop off in music that you can explain and act like every all the money you're getting is music. It's not the case. But I digress. Let me keep playing this. Radio got paid. Such and such. Nowhere in this memo they said anything about radio. We were already paying radio. D and Shadow and them niggas or whoever the fuck is out here in New York doing their thing. We already was doing that shit. We didn't pay you for radio. That's not why we got you. That's not why we, so you telling me right now that we paid radio with that, where, how? I'm looking at the memo right now that you sent me, nowhere in this motherfucker does it say you was going to put 20, 30,000 in radio. It don't say that. All it says was radio interviews. We didn't even get no fucking radio interviews. There was no show openings. There was no blog placements. And what you talking about, that's another thing too, right? And this, and, and I told the Karen, by the way, you know, I said to her, so, first of all, you're not paying the breakfast club for an interview. L let's be very clear. You're not paying me for an episode of Off the Record. That's not happening. 
if that was the case, and that's where the street niggas, they be coming in like, oh, we could get money too. Everybody would just pay for the shit. Be like, yo, oh, you, so if I give you like 10 grand right now, you do an episode or 20 grand, you do an episode with me? No. What was that shit? What was I saying? I just forgot. Fuck. Um, oh, the interview shit. You know, the money that you thought that was going to be allotted for radio interviews was going to be Karen cold calling Charlemagne, cold calling Ebro, cold calling Big Boy, and all the other like media personalities from big markets and asking them for a favor. Hey, you know, I'm working with this one artist named Joyner Lucas. Like, yo, he loves your platform. Yo, like, yo. Remember when I did this for you, Charlemagne, or blah, 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 or whoever else? Yo, could you could you guys give him a Breakfast Club interview? Could you guys give him a Hot 97 interview? Could you guys give him a Real 92.3 interview? You, them niggas ain't getting paid for the interviews. Like, it, you're not paying iHeart to get interviewed. You know what I mean? So the money you got to think about like that is is that you're paying her to try to use her relationships. But here's the thing. She might try to use her relationships and everybody still says no. That's why it gets tricky. You're paying her to use her relationships and she might use it and everybody still say no. Let me keep playing. Mixed shows. We was already getting mixed shows. I didn't need you for that shit. That's not why I got you because I couldn't get a fucking mixed show. I didn't get you because I couldn't get a radio interview. I didn't get you because I didn't have a little bit of tra a little blog traction. That's not why I got you. I felt like you sold me a fucking dream. And then you stopped answering my phone call. Mind you, I got a son on the way. And this is all I got. You feel me? So I'm real fucked up now. And then you, every time you answered the phone, it was like, nigga, what you want type shit. Like, you're like, I'm bothering you. And then I noticed you said some shit on your tweet like, or, or, or the shit that Shade Room posts or your little letter and shit where you was like, oh, you know, artists think they have 24 access to you. Motherfucker, if I just handed you 60K and I had access to you before, I should have access to you now. I can't talk to you? Who the fuck you think you I can't have a conversation with the person I just handed 60K to her account? I don't know who the fuck you paid or what you didn't get no breakdown. Oh, no, fam, I'm going to let you speak. All right, hold on. Let me try to get to Karen. And did I? It's okay. not to that. I just you feel okay. me? So okay, uh, I got me go back and look for for the people that I brought up the people that I brought upon on your team. The same way you said, Karen, I didn't know you was doing all of this. Whoop de whoop. It's a conversation I had with Sean. I know you need certain things. The area you were from, you told me I got radio and I got city on lock here. Cool. So when it comes to interviews, when it comes to certain things, I paid out. I paid a radio person for that to help with that. A PR person. So and then can you show the me context, that? Wait, wait, wait. Yes, can you I show can. me that? Please. Yeah. Show me that. Okay. That's all I want to see. Is just show me it broken down. Just that's it. Okay. No, that's fine. But let me finish. Go ahead. So then when 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 I guess you made a comment yesterday, someone sent it to me today. Even let's go back. So when you got upset when you got upset and all you right. she says a lot, but I don't want to play this whole thing. I guess the point I was trying to say, okay, and y'all tell me what y'all think. It is. If you, if you think it's scamming, it's scamming, whatever. The thing about what Karen does, Karen connects dots, right? So remember I was I, I told you, like, yo, she might have took or got 10K from you, but I owed her favors. So I posted or I listened to or I looked at some shit that had to do with you, and you thought that that's what you needed to pay for me to do it. No, I owed her favors. So I don't get the money, right? Nigga, she took that. She she took that money for herself. You know why? She used her relationship. She called in a favor with me, and I think that's where she's still trying to say, "Hey, for the people who are talking about refunds and this and third, she deserves your whole budget if she could get it done without paying." Let me say that again. If you gave her $60,000, 
for her to get you on some blogs, to get you an interview with so-and-so, to get your record playing with blah, blah, blah at this time, and everything happens, but she did it for free. Granted, she might have told you in the money that she charged you, this is my fee, but now you realize her fee is actually way higher because she didn't have to do anything. What did she do wrong? I don't know if I'm being complicated about this, no? So I said she blocked dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, the way she handled him, obviously that's why she... I'm, I'm not sitting here and saying that... Let me be clear. And I don't want to stick on this too much. I'm not sitting here and saying that she doesn't... Um, that she robbed him. Right? Or she didn't rob him. He's claiming points that, yo, she finessed me on money here. She did this. She ignored me here. All I'm trying to say really is that I know people that operate like Karen. And when you operate like that, you might tell someone, pay me because that's around what it costs for blah, blah to be done. And then that particular person, they get it done for free. I hope you understand that. Why is she ignore him? Man, yeah, I'm not defending that, bro. Like, she probably thought that nigga was going to pop. She probably thought it was fucking annoying. She probably was like, yo, damn, why this bum-ass thing keep hitting me? She probably blocked that nigga, of course. Not saying it's right. That's what she probably did. Talk about the hacking. I think Karen wild as fuck. For admitting some shit like that, Karen's supposed to do her dirty work and never admit to it. But um, all the hacking shit, I, I I thought that was you know I, out of line. I don't like it. So I said I'm doing hella damage control, bro. I'm not, bro. Oh my god, I'm just I'm just trying to explain to y'all, nigga. I see this industry. And there's a lot of people like Karen. It's just like, how many blogs is this now? How many people do YouTube now? Are they academics? No. But you know they exist, right? What I'm trying to say is that what Karen does always is going to happen. We're in the music business. Let, let me again explain it to you. Radio DJs are broke as fuck. They don't get a lot of money from the station they're playing for. If they're not talking and they're only playing music, a lot of these dudes, even on the biggest radio station here, they're not getting $5,000 a month if they only have a big show once a week. They're not getting $5,000 by the station, right? So what ends up happening, right? There's a lot of paper bag transactions going on because the platform they control is powerful. Yo, I'm going to give you $3,000 to spend this for like a week or a week and a half. They're going to take the money. So when when y'all being so critical this and third, I'm like, I know the music industry is filled with all type of shit that nobody really could admit. You pay for radio, that's payola. That's illegal. But does everybody pay for radio? Yes. Everybody pays for radio. I'm sorry to tell y'all that. So I says, Karen. So I says, I'm scared of going to Karen bad side. Bro, stop playing with me. Nigga, if Karen, if, if, if Karen had said nothing about me that was disrespectful, you know I go to war with anybody. Stop it, bro. Y'all got to really stop it, man. Y'all know the type of nigga I am, bro. Y'all know the type of, yeah, stop playing with me, bro. I don't give a fuck what I'm talking about. Nobody. Me and Karen ain't do no business like that. I'm just telling you, 
The type of chick Karen is, she's a scrappy bitch who save artists. I seen her save artists. She begs platforms like mine, don't embarrass niggas. She's worked for Nikki. Nikki's a fucked up human being. She's tried to make she her seem personable. That's all I'm saying, my nigga. Y'all, yo, she not no perfect chick like Karen. I don't know her that well. But anytime I've ever had interactions with her, she's making fucked up artists look better. I'm telling you. People who do shit like Meek got apparently somebody told me your Meek on video beating up a chick, bro. The video never came out. Who made that shit never came out? Karen, bro. Fuck is up with y'all niggas. Y'all talking like that's what I'm trying to say. All of these niggas, they need somebody like that because they make mistakes, they fuck up, they do human shit. They do human shit. So I'm not going to sit here because I watch all this shit. I bring a lot of shit to the forefront and y'all still look at me like I be lying. You know most of this industry behind the shield shit don't come out. And when it do come out, y'all don't even believe it because you got somebody who who's specifically working to make sure them artists look good. Forget Karen. There's always somebody like that. Karen's the best at what she does. I'm just being honest with y'all. You know what I mean? Skeletons. You know how many tea and all that type of shit that could ruin people that Karen got rid of? That's what it is, bro. That's all I'm saying, nigga. I ain't protecting her, nigga. I ain't got nothing. There's nothing. Me and her, we don't got no business. Me and Karen don't got no business. Nigga, Karen used to work for Nikki and them. Karen used to work with Meek. It's, cra it's funny enough, Meek talking about her. Karen used to work with you, nigga. Or like work around the circles that you was there. I'm pretty sure she probably did some shit. Again, when I'm here, there's a video of Meek assaulting a woman that never came out. Bro, that would kill a nigga career, doggy. So, so this is exactly what I, that's why I just stay to myself because me, I don't do all that shit. Somebody do something to me, I bring it to the forefront immediately. Karen Civil been playing and doing dirty work for a lot of people for a lot of years. I'm just not with it when all y'all fucked up and because, and when I ain't, ain't into the mom mentality, y'all artists is fucked up. Y'all had Karen do mad dirt for y'all. Some of y'all should be canceled. Y'all are pieces of shit. She did the dirty work. That's why you got a career. You should have paid her every fucking dime. I ain't talking about Joyner. Joyner wasn't there. Maybe she finessed him. I don't know. But a lot of these people, I've seen the shit behind the scenes. All of these niggas do fucked up shit. Nigga, I ain't know that Meek broke into, into Nikki's crib. It's a blogger that said that recently, nigga. They, these rappers and people who you hear throwing accusations, y'all fucked up. Y'all do fucked up shit. That's not no shit that's dope. Y'all, that's fucked up shit. She hid that shit for y'all niggas. She buried them skeletons for y'all niggas. So if you gonna expose her, expose y'all niggas too. But y'all don't wanna be exposed. Y'all want her to go... Sit on the fucking and just jump on the fucking sword. If she finesse some of y'all, good. I don't give a fuck. I stay to myself. She can't finesse me. I don't do business with her like that. She can't finesse me. None of y'all industry niggas finesse me like that. I don't do fucked up shit, threaten people, try to get them all type of shit fucked up, then try to get a fixer to hope that it don't get out in the public. I don't do that. Y'all artists do that. All y'all. That's why Karen Civil is so powerful. Don't try to expose her if you don't want to come out and say what you did 
or the skeletons you was trying to bury that she probably helped you with. Y'all all are fucking guilty. It's none of my business. I stay out of it. Karen Civil ain't never come at me on some shit like that. She could have. Think about it. She was rocking with Nipsey. Nipsey had a problem with me. Sabo Nipsey was like, yo, I'm going to blah, 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 blah. Karen, just clean it up or make sure let's get this. You know what she said? Now, nah, I'm going to, yo, let me put you on a phone call together. She ain't do no fucked up shit to me. Because all y'all are hypocrites. This is the mob mentality. Y'all want Karen. People say, oh, this, I'm so glad. Yo, but Karen's fucked up. She got a blog hacked. Which artist made her hack that blog? She only hacked the blog because of an artist that was her client. Who's the fucked up artist who told her and put her in a position to do it? She's a hitman, clearly. You gonna blame the hitman or the nigga who made the fucking hit? You gonna blame Kuda B or 6ix9ine? Who's the one who got Chief Keep shot at? She's doing the dirty work, but somebody made the call. Who did it? Somebody paid her. Who? Y'all don't wanna talk about that shit. Y'all just wanna talk about her because she's the scapegoat at the moment. I don't join it on y'all mob mentality because y'all never wanna get to the root of the real problem. The root of the real problem is that this industry is fucked up. This whole shit, money, fame, power got to all these niggas' heads. They've done shit that you would go to jail behind. Your, your reputation would be ruined behind. All of these niggas have done it. Niggas know it, and people have buried it. The greatest ones who have buried it, you've never heard about it ever in life. You ever sat down and 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 and, and said, if everybody said, oh, she fucked up for hacking, who, which client was she defending when she went to hack somebody? That's all you need to ask to figure out where the fucked up shit started. Karen a hitman. Karen's a hitman. Karen's a hit man. Remember I told y'all Nick, I always told y'all Nikki fake. Nikki will kick some real shit sometime, but Nikki be acting like she don't do the weird shit. She recently just exposed herself. She leaking journalist's number. Nikki been the only artist who I see that kind of low-key wink, wink, tell her fan base is cool to bully people by leaking their phone numbers, doxing them, all type of weird shit. Recently, she got so fucking on hinge, she leaked the journalist number her damn self. I was watching her. I was looking on her Instagram I'm like, yo, I can't believe Nikki herself is doing this. She got so enraged. Man, Nikki been doing that shit. Nikki been like having Nikki's numbers and passing it to her fan base. Leak that shit, nigga. Bully him. She ain't no nice person, nigga. What y'all think this shit is? I don't got no problem with Nikki now. Like, I haven't talked talk about her in a minute. Like, she ain't really talked about me. I'm cool. But y'all got to really, like, take take a breath of, of fresh air and realize reality. When y'all want to talk about Karen Civil, it's like, it's corruption. When you're ready to go to corruption, or when you're ready to go through, for women, when you're ready to go through your man's phone, don't stop. At his homie that was trying to set him up to fuck a bitch last week. Really go through the whole, from, from the top all the way down. There's some people who are middlemen. There's some people who are shot callers. If you're talking about just 
Karen and 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 and, and, and Joiner Joiner. I don't know their business like that. I stay out of it. If he got a problem with it, he should sue her ass. Sue her. Sue her. Sorry, sue her, nigga. The other chick sued her. Sue her. If you want your 60 grand back, nigga, sue her, nigga. She ain't perform the duties that she should have performed. She don't want to give you answers on Clubhouse, nigga. Sue her ass, nigga. What you about to do, just keep talking about this for seven years? Sue her ass. You seen the other girl sue her ass. Oh, okay. This is a PR thing. Y'all ain't trying to really get no real, real actual, like, results. I can't, when I just tell you BTA nominate me, I ain't going to sit and complain about them. They I'm in my own shit. I don't got time to complain about shit I can't control. It's like the 20th time Jordan said it. I don't got no problem with him. He might be right. I'll just throw it out. Are you right? I don't care. But the whole point is that how you finna rectify that shit? Fine, you got finesse and what? Are you just going to give a walk-in advertisement that you're a sucker that got finessed? Or are you going to get your money back, nigga? Some way, somehow. Go get your 60K back. And if you don't get it back, you just looking like a fool. And the next nigga going to finesse your ass, too. Go get it back. Go get your 60K back. What you think she about to be canceled? She's a hitman. She buries skeletons. Every nigga always gonna need the hitman, the dirty work person. She will never be canceled. I'm telling you this. So you think you're making some? No, you're not. You're not doing nothing. And by the way, she's dope as fuck. She got all her public brands. She's with Louis Vuitton. She works for fucking Louis Vuitton. What you think you about to do? Like, they about to like, oh, 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 she didn't really do what Joyner wanted her to do. Uh, we don't fuck with her. No. She worked with Hillary Clinton. What do you think? They'll be like, oh, what you finna do? I don't know. She robbed him. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe she did. Maybe she did look at him like, yo, this nigga, this nigga with his rapidy rap shit, he old as shit. Like, you know, like, he not, like, I think, you no. Know, Respectfully, like I think Jordan was he 30 now, so maybe she was looking at it like yo, he not like a young he ain't pop off yet. He kinda old to be doing this type of shit. He ain't gonna pop off, but he got an investor. Man, give me this fucking 60k nigga. I'm going on vacation. I'm going on vacation with your money, nigga. I bet she did it. I right, let's say she did. What you finna do? But that's why when people talk about like yo, act, why yo? platform not posting this nigga if y'all want me to expose the whole industry be ready to talk about the whole industry because i am i ain't here to just talk about who y'all ready to try to out one day let's talk about everybody because when i was talking about nikki i was all fucking quiet when i was talking about how nikki controlled a million things i was quiet and i let it go i realized okay that's the game that's the game we will talk about artists who got skeletons buried. Let's talk about it all. But y'all don't want to talk about it all. Y'all just only want to talk about certain people. Again, picking and choosing. I ain't got no time for y'all agenda. Whatever Karen Silva got going on, she's she's a savage. I'm going to tell y'all this right now. She going to power through it, and every nigga who talks shit about her, she going to fuck up. I'm going to tell you straight up. She going to fuck y'all niggas up in some way, Somehow, because she's just a scrappy motherfucker like that, where she's going to be in some advantageous, powerful situation where she could fuck up your situation. And as much you think, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. This is coming from a nigga that don't got no business with Karen Zimmer. So if you ask why act name post this, you know why? Because I ain't on nobody's agenda. If I was ever going to war with Karen Silva, I go to war with Karen Silva because I want to do it. I'm not fighting y'all battles because y'all don't. Yo, 
y- y'all want to fight one small battle and ignore that there's a war going on around. I just told you, Karen Civil's a hitman. You should be asking Matt another question. She's a hitman for who? Who does she work with? What are those artists doing? If she getting blogs hacked, why? Why does she have to be moving in this type of way? What are those artists doing? Why those artists are employing her? Why those artists need these drastic methods to try to erase whatever people might know about some shit they did? Y'all ain't asking that question. Y'all just randomly found out, like, like no disrespect to Karen, but now people didn't know about her and at least some, some of the newer generation and they're like, oh my God, oh, we know about her now. Y'all not asking the right question. If y'all trying, if y'all trying to go down a rabbit hole, go all the way down the shit. But y'all don't do that. So until y'all ready to do that, I will not be fighting y'all battles and y'all use my platform as pawns, especially with people in the media. No, not a pawn for y'all niggas. I still, I, I'm on my business. Anybody who has ever really came at me wanting true static, we going to give it to you. If you're relevant enough, if you're not relevant enough, I kind of pity you, but still. Yes, but I'm not no pawn. Whatever joint I got with her, y'all figure that shit out, man. Y'all figure that shit out. Okay, everybody got a story about her now. Like, respectfully, Jason Lee, you told my she she paid niggas to hack you. That's probably true. Bruh, there's always going to be a Karen. You think when I piss people off, you think a, a artist or somebody don't pay somebody to stalk me, pay somebody to try to run up on me? Pay You think that'll happen? Who won't be mad at? The person who got, the pay, who got paid or the person doing the paying, nigga? What you think? You got to be mad at the nigga doing the pain, bro. So your issue ain't even really with Karen. The person who wants your shit gone, who want you not to be here, that's your, that's the op. They always going to be a hitman. Where's the contract at? Who we getting rid of? You, okay, you don't fuck with him? Okay, cool. How you want me to handle it? You want me to, you know, kind of try to smoothen this relationship or you want me to just obliterate him? Fuck him? All right, cool. That's how it goes. Grand Wizard, what's cracking with you, man? It is what it is. Go watch Scandal. I know, I know this like it felt like a girl show when it was airing. Olivia Pope, right? The Olivia Pope, the character. I think. A lot of people consider like her character fucked up and shit like that too. But her ca- character was fucked up because of other people that she was trying to protect. It wasn't she trying to like take over all this shit. She was protecting all type of other motherfuckers. She was just smart enough, witty enough, and scrappy enough to get all that shit done. That's it. Look at these tweets. I've been telling you, 